What is going on, everyone? I hope everyone's enjoying their week. For those of you that are new to my channel, my name is Black Appeal, the Apple Guy, and today I'm going to be starting a series of iPhone basic videos. And by that I mean just some of the basic features that can that you can utilize in your everyday usage of your iPhones. And the first one I'm going to start with is what is known as iTunes Pass. Now I'm going to tap on, as you can see, this is my iPhone 10. Tap on Wallet, and then I'm going to show you this right here, which is known as an iTunes Pass. Well, basically, what this means is that anytime you wish to purchase anything from the App Store or iTunes, and this includes anything from apps to movies to TV shows, by default, when you first buy your first Apple device. You will, when you set up your Apple iTunes account, you will use a debit or credit card. And the reasoning for this is because when you purchase any items from the App Store or from iTunes, it needs a way to charge you for the money that you would be using to purchase this. With the App Store or iTunes Pass, what this allows you to do is this allows you to go to your local Best Buy or your retail store and you can purchase what is known as iTunes cards and what you would do is you would scan these cards and you can buy them in any denomination that you choose to up to I believe it's five hundred dollars if you buy that from the Apple Store now if you wanted to uh, basically what that would mean is that if you were going to the grocery store and you wanted to buy like say fifteen dollars worth of iTunes uh, basically it's kind of like gift money in a way I suppose that allows you to purchase any type of songs or movies up to fifteen dollars and then any overages will be charged to your debit or credit card now in order for you to actually install this on your phone you actually have to go into your itunes account to actually view it and then put it in your apple wallet so as you can see i have this installed on my itunes wallet apple wallet um, as you see so we're going to go into itunes or app stores whichever one is easiest for you to access typically I find using the app store much easier to do so you basically tap on the app store and then from here this is your front page to the right of that you'll see your picture or it'll have a you know initials of your name you tap on that and then from here it brings you an account and from here it shows you your name email purchase subscriptions and all your update redeeming and all that what you're going to do is you're going to tap on the very top part which is going to have your name or initial in your email account tap on that and then it brings you to where your account settings would be and from here you scroll all the way down to the bottom and what you do is where it says iTunes pass it kind of gives you a brief description easily add money to your account using wallet and participating retailers basically you can actually go to the Apple store as you saw from the QR code that was on the Apple Pass, you can actually have them scan that QR after you tell them how much you want to add to your iTunes account, and they can fund it that way, and all you have to do is simply just use your physical card to pay for that, and that's how that works. And then you add it, and you show it to the cashier, and you check out. So what, makes, what happens is that when you tap on it, it will show something like this. Now, in the top left-hand corner, it won't say done. It will say add. So when you typically hit add, it will literally add this to your wallet. And then from there, as you can see, it shows you right there where all your iTunes, uh, where all your uh, gift cards and passes and everything else that you would use for purchasing stuff would be right there. So as you can see, as I mentioned before, having the QR code, that is what you can use at the Apple Store. You can simply go into there and say, I want to get a $25 gift card and you want to add that to your app store card you just basically just have them scan your QR code they enter in the amount give them the physical card and then they add the balance to your account and where the balance reads zero dollars it would read whatever denomination that you want now these uh, series of videos that I'm going to be doing these are going to be in addition to other smaller videos that I'll be doing just to kind of help people in the tutorials for people who either are buying an iPhone or have an iPhone or an iPad and I'll be doing one for the iPads as well and they're just learning some of the features and haven't really gotten around to them or haven't really known exactly what they were so these videos I'll be putting out in my usual content every other Thursday 
So if this video was helpful, or if you'd like to see videos like this, just drop a comment in the comment section below. If this is your first time to my channel, please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell notification. That way you will never miss my content when I drop it. And I do drop content every other Thursday. Hit the thumbs up if, this, if you like this. And I want to thank everybody for watching my videos. And have a good one. And again, this is Black Apino the Apple Guy. And have a great night. Or day.